India is a home to various traditional art forms including paintings pottery home decorations clothes making and so on but sadly some of these magnificent art forms are on the verge of extinction brutal but truth in the past the gateway of western assam was a rendezvous for different racial groups who mingled together exchanging ideas culture beliefs and distinct languages thus formed a unique and enriching experience that help them preserve their traditional way of life This aesthetic art form is dying a slow death for lack of support and patronage from public. It won't be long before it disappears completely. Admirably, a few remaining artists in a small remote village, Debutar Hasta in Dubri, Assam. are fighting fiercely to preserve the patachitra art this entire process is carried out by using a special kind of knife without any tool for measurement and depends absolutely in the dexterity of the artist to produce uniform result this paper shaped deceptions are generally done on sholapit one of the most equisite and pious crafts Shola grows wild in marshy waterlogged areas and the stems are harvested in the month of July and August They are then procured and dried for crafting purposes It is similar in form to man-made polystyrene foam To enhance the beauty of the shola piece a three dimensional frame like border is given
For the pasting of these edges, the adhesive is prepared with locally available organic ingredients. For making this compound, the artist collects widely grown fern leaves. The fern leaves are then boiled and pounded into a fine paste. The excess stock is then kept aside for the preparation of the ink for the painting. For the borders, thin strips of shola with intricate designed edges are cut and enhances the aesthetic look of the painting and gives a framing like effect. Namaskar, my name is Dulal Malakar. I am the first person of Pancham Khandar Nivasi. My name is Dishti Khandar Nam Dhubri, Thana Gulagans, and Rajya Khandar Nam Ocham. My Kuhila Kamorji Potositra Khandar is a Potositra Vilaak Agathe Soli. It is a very good thing. 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 कुहिला कमर्जी पोरोसित्रो हेविला का साहिदा कुमी कैसे राजा अंबलोत जितिया अमार आता होते काम करे सिल है पोरोसित्रो विला देवी देवता ऐसा बहुत पूजा करे सिल बाकी मानव विला को पूजा करे सिल आरु घड़तो लगाये रखे सिल इंद्रपुरे थे कि शुलाटा आना आजे अर्की बने बेलबलानी बुली एक जन आसिल शादक वो � आर बाया दवा हवार पड़े, शुल्लाटा जखोन हाया जाए, तखोन काटिए, मालिए बाड़ी निये ऐसे, बाड़ी निये ऐसी है, ठीक मोतो नीति नियम कोरी, पूजे पर्वन कोरी, शेष शुल्ला काटी काटी काम करा है, तखोन शेष हमें मल्ला कोर ऐसे स्वयं विश्व कर्म है, आर अम्रा एक्चुअली विश्व कर्म है बंगशोधा, अमार ए उदिनोत अमार एक काम टा थाकर जन्ने और वो पीस पड़िया से जो दी एक काम टा वो शहर जो कोट जाए बट टाउन जो कोट जाए ताहले अमार खूब भाल बामो बाहर तो अमुन की जो दी भारत बस्तर बाईजे कोनो जगह जो दी साहिदिया करे ताहले अमार खूब भाल बामो क्योंने अमार भारत तेरे एक टा किसी जिन्नो बा एक � आता है कोई कमरों पर निर्भर चल, किंतु सरकारे कुनो धानों पर तो निर्देश करने आमी मान दुखिया हुई, जीवन जफर करिया सो, आमी आरबीसी के कबूल नहीं मर। But these days, one can see very few पातचित्र in the market. which only further specify that the extinction of the art is indeed ineluctable. The crucial part of the painting is that of the ink, which is purely organic, made of Indian bale and smoke of 
oil lamp. Then the gum is extracted from the bale and mixed with the remaining stock of the fern leaves which was kept aside for the ink preparation. This mixture is further added with the smoke collected from the oil lamp. Thus, a black thick ink-like solution is produced. This is used as ink for the painting. In Assam, this art form survives only in a single village and practiced by just a single family, untouched by modernization. With a little desire for success and luxury, all they wish for is for the art to flourish. The solar fit craft of Dhubri district is a very ancient and indigenous craft of this district. There are two types of solar pit craft. One is toys and image making and another is paintings. The painting side which is called citra pot, it is in the virgin of extraction. The problem of raw material is very big for them. Nowadays, we have seen that the wetland is um, decreasing because of encroachment. So, I think the government should take step for prevent the encroachment of this wetland. We have to do something for survive this type of uh, rare and traditional crafts. Paintings are mainly uh, connected for ritual purposes, say snake goddess Monosa, images of Behula, Lakhindar and Siva, uh, then Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwar, etc. etc. It should be converted from ritual to modern um, form. The demand for eco friendly product is um, growing and uh, increasing day by day. There is 
an urgent need to create awareness about this dying art is not only a valuable means of self-expression but also serves as a tool that support social change. Though Patrachitra is originally based on religious art form, it could be used as a way to raise awareness about issues that affect in our daily life. Keeping alive an art form which is fast fading is a difficult task, but not impossible. The preservation of the art should not rest solely on the artist. The government, NGOs and the people need to collaborate and work together in harmony. so that we succeed in bringing them back from the brink of extinction. Together we work, the stronger we stand. Otherwise, in near future, this equisite art form will be mentioned in the pages of books. Surely we can do better for future generations.